up HL fam welcome back to today's vlog guys I am on a race against the clock so today Henry went back to work which is so sad like we have been together as a family for the last two weeks and it was so much fun just like waking up and just like being together it really felt like when Anaya first came home and we had spent um like I think it was like six weeks <laughs> when Anaya first came home um so yeah that was really really fun and we're sad that Henry I had to start working again but yeah um so she is at home taking her first morning nap she'll probably wake up in about two hours so i am going to try to run in the grocery store run to target and get breakfast from chick-fil-a before she wakes up i think i can do it um i'm running into the grocery store so that i can get some um groceries to test um recipes for cookingwithlawn.com if you haven't signed up and became a member of cookingwithlawn.com yet you might want to do that there's a link in my description box and on the website you can find um every single reason why you should become a member and what's inclusive of your membership and if you have any questions you can always email me at info at cookingwithlawn.com or if you go onto um, my website there is a contact me um link there where you can get in contact with me as well if you have any questions but yeah, I'm about to run to the grocery store now and then I'll talk to you guys about Target later if and when we make it there. Fingers crossed, so let's go. into target i got everything that i needed from the grocery store except pumpkin puree like how our stores already sold out of pumpkin puree this early in the season but um so now i'm about to go into target hopefully they have some pumpkin puree if not whatever um but the real reason i'm going into target is for hoodies it is definitely hoodie season okay and i have just purged so much stuff out of my closet whether it be too big too small or um outdated like i don't know about you guys but i am so guilty of like wearing the same things year after year for the same seasons and then it's just like you become comfortable with it and then it's like you forget to like purge your wardrobe or like pick up new pieces so that is what i'm doing especially since last fall i was pregnant i technically haven't been fall shopping for like my regular body size since what two two falls ago so um yeah i got rid of all my hoodies i don't even i don't have a single hoodie and target is having a huge i think it's like 20 percent off of women's uh men's and kids clothing and accessories maybe shoes as well so i'm just really going in here to pick up some new hoodies um and see what else they have uh i got probably about another hour and a half left so i gotta make it count so let me hurry up stop blabbering and let's get into target so pretty much a couple of different brands um universal thread included are all 20% off on the Target Circle app um so I really just like I like this hoodie because of like the rounded hem at the bottom so I think I'm gonna pick this one up in a size medium um and then I like this tie-dye look this looks kind of big though it sucks that the fitting rooms aren't open because you can't try this stuff on it's like this looks huge Oh no, this looks huge. Should I get Should I get a small? This looks so big. I normally wear a medium. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This little crew neck in this mint color. I might have to get this in cream. This is really cute. I love this. Here are some other colors. Okay, look at these pants. These are so cute. It says casual pant. I love this. Should I get a green pair? Hmm. Or oh, large. Okay, I am obsessed with this cropped sweater. Look how cute this is. <sighs> they don't even have my size. I want this color. 
Should I get it in black? Hmm, I didn't want it in black. I wanted it in... I wanted it in this tan color. Should I do pink? Pink is so different. I would never buy, like, this pink color. Huh. Maybe it's just what I need to be out of my comfort zone. Hmm. But yeah, I always buy stuff for Anaya. I buy her a ton of things. But yeah, we just spent a bunch of money on her when we were on vacation. And um, yeah, and then when it comes to me, I'm always like second guessing myself. Like, oh, do I need it? Do I not? And I need to just treat myself. I never treat myself. I always get stuff for Anaya. So mommy is shopping for herself today. All right, y'all. So I got that from Target and I wanted to show you what I got. I wound up only getting two things. Although I really like that pink um, crop turtleneck, I decided against that because pink, it was just way too bright of a color for me. And I really wanted that burnt orange color that I showed you guys. So I'm just gonna keep stopping in there occasionally until that one goes on sale. I mean, not till it goes on sale, until that one is back in stock. I am about to try these on. So this one is cool. It is just this cream colored crew neck and I love like the little detail here on the um, collar and then it's also here on the arm. So this is really cute. It's casual. It's nice to probably pair with like some mom jeans or like some leggings. So I really like this one. Oh, I really like this. Um, so I like, let me turn it around. I like the hem on this. I love how it's this rounded hem at the bottom. It's really cute and casual and it's very soft. It fits me perfectly and it's snug and fitted. Ooh, I like. It's snug and fitted without it being too tight or too loose. So I really like this one. I think I'm gonna go back and get some more of these. This one is really, really cute. It has some other colors, but I really like this one best. It's like this cute brown color. So yeah. What's up HL fam? Welcome back to another vlog. Today we are back in the dentist for ah. our you wanna say something, mama? For our last ah. and final time a long ah. two point five year journey said, that is go. concluding today super excited so today we're gonna get um our retainers um yeah i think it's supposed to be a pretty lengthy appointment so if we have some time after this we're gonna go to some stores because we love being in well new jersey has some different stores like raymore flanagan and then delaware on the way down has some nice stores as well so maybe we can stop there on the way down um, but yeah, we're really excited. So we'll check in with you guys in a second when they call us back. So they're actually taking our appointments one at a time. So um, Henry went ahead and went first because he still needs to get his impressions for his teeth. Hopefully he's vlogging. I forgot to give him the camera before we parted ways. Um, but it's just me and Anaya chilling. Oh my gosh, y'all. It has been so hard to contain her. I put her in the seat and I got her some toys here but of course she doesn't want to play with her toys she wants to play with parts of the car and now she's playing with the seat belt holder and then she wanted to grab the chick-fil-a cup and then she wanted henry's keys over there this is just the best method right now because um yeah as you guys know she's crawling so she knows that she can be mobile and that's like such a crazy stage because it's like they know they can move with without you so she did not want to stay in my arms. <laughs> I might have you like down on the top row for a second. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, how does this work? Oh, um, this hurt. I feel a little snug because the brace is good. Are they on? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh-huh. You feel uh -huh. a difference? That's where you really gotta push up. Mm -hmm. 
Feel but better? do I want to bite down? You don't want to chew on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just want to push. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this make me talk weird. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this makes me feel so weird. I can't even talk. <laughs> I guess eventually I'll be able to like talk right. Yes, you will. It takes time. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hey y'all, so we left the orthodontist. We got about two hours to kill while they're making Henry's retainers. Um, and we decided to stop at, at home because we weren't able to stop here the last time. We, pro we really don't need anything out of at home. I just want to go in there because I know they got the Christmas decorations up. So I just want to see like what they have. Um, but yeah, at home is not, we more so need furniture. And at home more so has like decorations. So we'll see what they got. They got all the Christmas trees out. I feel like at home is the best place to get a Christmas tree because they have so many options they have the most options that i've seen in a store they even have like rose gold ones here are some of the reefs that they have but it's not a lot i think they got another aisle full of like garland and stuff this year, y'all, hold me to it. I'm getting one of these. I never get these every year. My mother always tell me to get it. I know, but the box is falling apart. I need one of these to package away my wreath and my tree. They got all the ornaments out. Oh, this like blue and silver would be so nice. Oh, they got like navy blue. That's so cute. at home is like one of the best places to get ornaments oh my gosh all the red stuff because they have everything you need in every single color like their aisles are literally categorized by christmas colors Ooh. yeah look at this well like this oh i like this because it's not glitter look at that how much is this this is these are $2.99 each. Likey. These are little things that we can put on our dining room table and put like a candle in it. That is kind of shedding everywhere. What? Oh, what's that? What is that? Does this not put y'all in like the ultimate Christmas mode? Look at this. Rose gold Christmas, I will be back for you in some more years once we get the red out the way. Look at this. Oh my goodness, all the red. Mama, look. I love these. Damn. Ah. They can hang this in the um, to the left of the fridge. Mm. Yeah. Gosh, these big reindeers, it says they're like $15. I could definitely get like the little one that's like laying and put it by our fireplace. So Henry just went into Jared to get our rings clean because we're due for a cleaning anyway and an inspection on both of our rings. Um, oh, what are they doing? Oh, and today I was uh, feeding Anaya mashed potatoes and her hands got nasty. And then she somehow like grabbed my ring. So my ring has mashed potatoes all in it. Um, oh, and I guess while Henry's inside, I can show you guys the before and after of our teeth. Well, I'll show you my teeth. Henry might want to show you guys his own teeth. So we went to Dr. Frank Battistini Orthodontics. If you are in Philly, he actually has a lot of private locations. If you are in Philly or um, Southern New Jersey, 
then he is an amazing um orthodontist and his staff is amazing as well so let's look at the overall picture hold on mama i'm gonna compare them but let's look at my overall smile first and foremost you, do you guys see how my top row is right on top of my bottom row they don't overlap like they're supposed to they're literally right on top of each other and then do you see all these little spaces in my teeth now look at the other smile so here i'll put them side by side to me maybe if you guys can see the difference so here we go top and bottom right on top of each other now this one you can only see my top row which is what's supposed to happen so now my top row is over top of my bottom row and that's exactly how your smile is supposed to be so a mess fixed a mess fixed looks very nice also let me do it like this put this here also this is my teeth before if you can see on this side you see how these three teeth they almost go inward a little bit you see how it's not perfectly round it's like boop 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 so there's that and also my jaw was a little not my jaw my um i don't know what they even call this 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 thing was very narrow it was a little bit skinny and then here are my teeth now so they are perfectly round compared to over here it's like those side that side is kind of dented in what else can i show you guys oh this was one of my biggest issues this tooth right here was pushed inward it was closer to my tongue if you look now hold on let's go back see how it's pushed inward if you look now it's outward and actually this gap is meant to stay here because remember i'm getting veneers on so they have to leave space for the whole tooth um so yeah that's a big difference there okay and then here's the last one i'm gonna show you guys that really points out all the differences my teeth were the tiniest bit overcrowded okay first of all this is not a stain in my teeth this is just how the picture is and i'm um <laughs> I am vlogging on the iPhone because my camera died or is charging right now. So don't mind this. It actually looks like a stain, but it's not. Um, but yeah, you see how these are a little bit rigid. They kind of overcrowded a little bit. Now look, look right there. You see now they're perfectly straight and I have my permanent retainer behind my teeth. So, so those are all the major differences of what my teeth look like before guys don't pay anaya any mind she wants to get out of her car seat because she knows that the car stopped moving um but there's the major differences between what my teeth look like before and what they look like now i am so happy with my smile and all of the progress that i've made so far um and i can't wait to continue perfecting my smile with like the teeth whitening and getting the veneers on those two teeth or the four teeth which i, I haven't decided what we're going to do i have the clear if, if you guys can see i have the clear aligners at the top and then i have the permanent retainer uh behind my teeth um on the bottom and having this retainer behind your teeth it makes it hard to floss um so yeah and a lot of like food and stuff can get stuck up under there just like when you have braces so i, I wasn't even thinking about that i was just thinking about what is going to be um not seen or what's going to be clear um, but yeah, I should have thought twice about that. So there's a little tip if you guys um, are getting your braces off anytime soon. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Henry to get back in the car and then we're going to go to, I think, Home Goods and Home Sense. My baby Shiny. My baby. God dang, what are you doing? Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, my baby's a Shiny. Is a magnificent Literally had mashed potatoes all in my ring. Did you tell him that our daughter did it? He said, he's literally how many times can we go to home goods and or home sense in one week the world may never know Henry was oh my mask hold up oh my mask how many of y'all say that every time you go to so uh, sick of this store. so i didn't get a chance to show y'all my teeth i got my retainers on but them junk straight I, show, I didn't show them your teeth. I figured you want to show them your own teeth. But I showed them my before and afters in the car. I'll show you. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all them. That's a vulnerable moment for me. <laughs> it doesn't but, matter. You, your teeth look fine. But your boy is good now. You said it was yeah, a vulnerable moment. Yeah, yeah. Your teeth was crooked back then. 
That's right. Because I could I could use them things to get women like you. Exactly. Got him. <laughs> okay. I like it as well. We just picked up one of these baskets. These would look beautiful in our room. We definitely, we already have, what's the names in our room? But this is beautiful. Okay, let me see. Why, oh, dang, they done replaced our lamps. Remember we got lamps from right there? They done replaced, they done replaced our lamps with some other blue lamps. Those look nice. I like how fat they are. Hey guys, it's Lon. So it's about a whole week later and I never even edited that footage. So I had to get that footage up. Um, I have so much to show you guys. But first I want to start out with Henry's before and afters because I never got a chance to show you guys. I thought he wanted to show you, but he said it was okay for me to, uh, for me to show you guys. Um, his little, like his overall uh, like face, his before and after like face photos, you're not going to really be able to see the difference and they're a little bit dark. So I'm going to show you what his real problem was. So guys, I don't know. Okay, do y'all see? I don't even know. A lot of people didn't know that Harry's teeth even look like this at the bottom, but this is what his teeth look like at the bottom. Super overcrowded. So his top teeth were like nearly perfect. He never had braces before, but his top teeth were basically perfect. They were really just correcting um, his bite a little bit and then this bottom teeth. And then here he is now. He has some swelling from getting his braces off. That's why his gums were a little bit inflamed, but um, they are so straight now. It is ridiculous. So he is really happy. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Wow. So he's really happy um, with his progress. Now I'm going to show you guys an update on the living room. Um, we have been making so many changes to the living room um, from the last few vlogs. I completely forgot that I didn't even show y'all the... Um, what is it called? I didn't show y'all the pillows from that last, last vlog. So I'm gonna show you guys the pillows, the end tables, everything. So here is a pan of the living room, what it looks like right now. Let me move this vacuum out of the way. This is what it looks like right now. Okay, so here are the pillows that we got in that last, last vlog. We do like them. Um, one time we came down that vlog and he looked at them. We both decided that we like them. I love that like the cream is like behind this pillow and then um, like in the background of this pillow and then he got the cream in the other pillows. So this is really, really nice. And then got the same pillows over here. Um, these end tables. We didn't know what type of end tables we wanted, but these work perfectly. And pretty much everything that you see on the end tables are not staying. We just grabbed some stuff around the house to see how it was going to look. So like on this one, we just added our wedding album there just again to be a placeholder to see how we like certain things. Add these little, um, what are those called? Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, I can't even remember what they're called. Definitely don't mind that <laughs> that Christmas stuff. I had to take that out really quick for a Christmas campaign. Um, yes, we're already filming stuff for Christmas, which is crazy. Um, this dish might stay, but again, not quite sure. And then we just added these books and this, photos, the, this photo, again, just to see what it would look like. Um, but here's what the end table looks like. It's like um, a really dark, brown kind of kind of like charcoal it's showing up a little bit lighter i guess because of the light is shining down on it but it's actually really really dark and it has like this grain in it so we really like those and then actually when we just came the footage that you just saw um of us going to home goods we actually went in raymore and flanagan before that and we found the perfect coffee table okay we actually get that tomorrow which is of course going to go here so we are super excited to like really be finishing out this space and hopefully you know we love the coffee table in the store hopefully it looks just as perfect in our living room space but yes guys it is coming together so once we get the coffee table here that'll determine if we're going to put anything here because originally we wanted like a bench or like two stools or something um so we'll kind of see what that looks like play around with that and then here is the basket that we just found in home goods um this 
throw blanket is just a filler for now just to see how it will look but love this basket it's really big and it's nice and black and then another project that we were working on is trying to figure out what color we wanted to change this wall to I think we found the perfect color um so yeah that's that so yeah lots of things going on right now lots of home updates but hopefully again we can kind of finish out decorating um the living room or the main spaces on the main floor so that we can move on okay so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video it was definitely a fun one we'll see you in the next one guys peace